Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with the support you need to finish your book. Best part is, after you finish your book, they take care of the entire publishing and marketing process 100% for you. So, if you want to become a successful author, make sure to check out AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Charlie Hager with us. He is a professional civil engineer based in Austin, Texas. He designs single and multifamily commercial and public improvement projects across the great state of Texas. So welcome to the show, man. Hey, how's it going, Tyler? Good, man. How are you doing? I'm great. Awesome, brother. Pumped to have you here on the show. Um, We'll dive into the first one. The first question I have for you is, what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? So for me, and and something that's really defined my life and career success so far has been, it actually goes back to high school. And back then, you know, I wasn't one of the popular kids and I didn't get invited to all the parties. So everyone was out having fun. My friends and I would go climb to the top of trails around Boulder, Colorado. And we would just stare up at the sky and talk about how we wanted to leave an impact on this world. And we made a pact before college. And we said, no matter what happens after school, we're all going to move to the same city. And by the way, we were all had different kind of skill sets and different uh, like career ambitions and stuff. We said, we're going to, we're going to get this crew back together and we're going to create an empire and we're going to hold each other accountable and we're going to work hard and we're going to make it happen. So after school, you know, we got on a phone call and uh, we all kind of, you know, quit our life. We quit our jobs, quit what we were doing, sold off our stuff. And we all moved to Houston, Texas and started our empire. And, you know, we're in different you know, if we all have different jobs or career goals or run different companies, but we all work together and hold each other accountable and, and are there for each other. And, and it's pretty amazing how this empire just keeps growing and growing. And uh, just one simple pact when we were in high school has had so much impact on us throughout our lives. Dude, that's awesome. I didn't know that about you, man. That's sick. Yeah, that's cool. pretty cool. It is freaking awesome, man. I was just, I mean, for everybody listening, me and Charlie went to college together. So, like, I was thinking, like, I remember Charlie, and in college, dude, you were a pretty popular guy, I'd say. But that well, was you, you kind of have to make yourself in college. It's like, <laughs> I knew no people in South Carolina. I, I show up in, uh, like, wearing Jordans and, like, uh, some <laughs> printed tees, and everyone's there in Sperry's and yeah. looking – looking like they just went golfing. <laughs> and, uh, so I kind of had to invent, reinvent myself. To make friends. <laughs> I feel that, man. Yeah, dude, I had to switch. Being from Philadelphia, I had to switch some things up too, for sure. Yeah, you know how it was. <laughs> um, so the next one I got for you is, what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Well, you know, I so I'm a civil engineer, so I – I have like intimate knowledge of like how water works and how to grade site plans so that they work and, you know, how to make wastewater work. It's very, really simple. It's very simple when you think about it, but the more, you know, it's like the more you realize you don't know. And, um, you know, I guess, I guess for me, one of the most important things is regardless of how technical or complicated your career is like for me it's a lot of dealing with numbers and making code work and making things balance and make numbers on spreadsheets balance and stuff like that the main thing is remembering you're working with people and the most the most important part of the job is making sure your team's happy and making sure you're able to convey your ideas in a articulate and effective way to people and you're just it's just constantly no matter how much technical stuff you have to get through really the most important thing i think is how your relationships with people are Mm -hmm. and how you lead your team and how you manage your image with people inside and outside your organization and how to make sure everyone you're working with you know it's like you have to leave it better than you find it so 
Definitely. Um, and then, so the next one I have for you is if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think it would be, and I, I don't know, there's a lot of advice I give myself, but I think one would just be patient. I'm so impatient. I always am looking for that next, you know, comparing myself to others. Why do I not have this? Why am I not there yet? Mm. It's remembering learning skills and learning how to be valuable on projects and on teams. That stuff comes with just years and years of experience and there's no shortcuts there. So I would just tell myself, Hey, enjoy the process, enjoy learning, enjoy the mistakes because you're developing a skill set in something that, that when you're actually in the position where it matters, you're going to be able to flip that on. Mm. And it would just be to be patient and, trust that process all right and now the next one i got for you kind of going down a different path we're going to get deep real quick so in your opinion <laughs> in your opinion what is the key to happiness Ooh, man, <laughs> you're, you're, you got some deep questions for the for this podcast man i like it um i think uh you know my dad he he, was, he always told me to uh everything in moderation including moderation so uh, I think the key for, I think generally humans, you know, we run kind of mild. We're just, even if you're the happiest person in the world, the saddest person in the world, you're going to, you're just going to kind of have like a normal, your normal resting rate. It's just going to be like, eh. So it's finding those things that can extract happiness out of your life. Like whether it's going to see a show and being in a dark room, listening to your favorite music or being with friends or being on a hike. So, you know, maybe it's an athletic thing or, Whatever it is that makes you happy, like make sure you build those into your life. You don't want to do it all the time. You don't want to be going to music festivals every single week because, <laughs> you know, that's going to ultimately lead to a life of very, very unfulfilled life that's not very happy. But find like build in those little things and find, mod you know, moderately do it, you know, what you like. And mm -hmm. for me, that's always kept me happy is just having those little things to look forward to and, and being aware of what it is that truly is making me happy and making sure I build those into my routine and in life. And what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, that's a good one. I, I'd probably say that <laughs> I think everyone listening to this has probably read it, but the Tim Ferriss four hour work week, there's just something about that book that I just, I will go back and reread it time and time again. It's just, constantly remembering like you can use everything you do can be improved and, and even if you're you know flipping burgers at burger king are you the one figuring out the most efficient way to do it so you can be the best at your job and find more time in your life for the things you enjoy it's like it's that book is just so powerful and has so many little nuggets of information on how you can eliminate things from your life and go on low information diets and for me, it's just there's so many lessons in there, no matter where you're at in life. Yeah, dude, that's like my top book. So I agree. Really? That's uh, funny. I think so. Dude, that book is actually what got – if you remember when I, I actually dropped out of uh, of school, that was like the, the, the catalyst for that. I read that book and I was like, oh, shit, I can do this on my own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, trust me, I was trying – I was doing entrepreneurial stuff too at the time and I was like – all right, I guess it's time for a virtual assistant. <laughs> and then I had to do a reality check. Like, wait, you're in college. Like, you should be doing, you should be studying for your engineering exams. <laughs> yeah, that book will change your mindset for sure. Yeah. Um, so that's funny. The next one I got for you is what is your favorite quote? Ooh. And you it doesn't know, have to be exact, it could be like a mantra or something. Oh, my, my favorite quote in, in mantra is how you do anything is how you do everything. And it's just a good reminder, you know, like, are you the type of guy who goes and pees and leaves piss stains on the toilet and walks away? <laughs> like if you're that kind of guy, you're never going to be successful in life. And it's how you do anything in life is ultimately <laughs> how you're going to do everything. And if you live by that and start thinking about it, you will start becoming a much more, like thoughtful person and everything you do is going to be a better product and you're going to go the extra effort and, and leave everything better than the way you found it. So that, that's always been my life mantra. 
uh, I try to preach it as much as I can. So, yes, man, dude, thank you so much for coming on. The last one I have for you uh, before we let you go is where's the best place for people to connect with you online? Oh, great. Yeah. I'd love, uh, you know, especially if people read my chapter in better business book. Um, I, if you have any ideas on like power moves, you know, like that was what my chapter was about, or just want to get in contact in general. Um, you can find me on Instagram at charlie.hager, uh, charlie with, uh, L I E and Hager H A G R, or you can find me on LinkedIn. My LinkedIn is Charles Hager. Um, and I, I'm always looking for uh, like-minded people who want to reach out and, and connect. So come join this network. Perfect brother. Thanks again for jumping on. All right. See you Tyler. Thanks man. The podcast you just heard was published with anchor. Got something you want to say to the creator of this show? Send them a voice message using the Anchor app, free for iOS and Android.